Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop images into a shape. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to create the header shapes that you saw just now. The reason I'm going to do that is because people will ask me how I've done it. So if you don't want to see that bit, just scroll through till you see an image appear and that'll be the part where I actually crop them into the shapes. So I'm just going to go up to insert along to shapes, click on the drop down and select the square icon. Then just simply click and drag. I'm just going to move that up there, move it across. And I'm on the shape format tab here. If it doesn't appear, it's because you haven't selected your shape. Go up to shape fill, click on the drop down and select color of your choice. And then I'm just going to repeat the process, insert shape, square again, and then just click and drag, move that to where I want to, go back up to shape fill, and then I'll go down and select this color here. Now, as you can see, there's a faint border around my two objects, so I'm just gonna get rid of those quickly, highlight the shape and go up to this icon here. Make sure you're still on shape format, click on the drop down and select no outline. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with this one, no outline, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert my first picture. So go up to the Insert tab, go along to Pictures, click on the drop down and select Picture from File. So I'm just going to select the first picture and these are all free images from pixabay.com. So once my picture's inserted you can see that I can't actually move it, so I've got to correct the wrapping. Make sure the image is selected, make sure you're on Picture Format, go along to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. So the next thing I need to do is crop it. Now if I was to crop this to a circle, what would happen is it would actually crop to each of these four squares here and it would actually create an oval rather than a circle. So let me just show you what happens. If you make sure you're on picture format and go along to the crop icon here, click on the drop down and go to crop to shape. As you can see, you've got all the shape options here. And if I go and select the circle icon or oval icon, you can see what's happened and it's cropped to an oval. And if I wanted a circle, you'd think, well, I'm gonna to have to squash my photograph. Well, that's no good because the lady is now distorted. So what I actually need to do is to crop my image to a one by one ratio. And you'll need to do that with any of the shapes that you find because otherwise it will crop to the rectangle of your image unless of course your image that you've inserted is already one by one or square. So if we go back up to the crop icon, click on the drop down and go down to aspect ratio. Then go down to this square one by one selection here and just click. Then you'll get these black lines that will appear in the corners and the sides of your image. But you can use the arrow to move your image wherever you want. And you can also click and drag the corners up if you want to crop off other parts of your image. Once you're happy with how your image looks, then just go back up, select crop or hit the enter key. Now your crop is square. Now go back up to the crop tool, click on the drop down, and then go ahead and select your circle icon or indeed any of the other shapes that you want to choose. Now you can see that my image has been cropped to a circle. Then I can use my cursor to click and drag the corners to reduce or increase the size of my image. So I'm just gonna go up and place that at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the next three images and then I'll come back to show you how you produce a border and a shadow on this image. Now we've just left these circles this size but you can increase or decrease them at the end which I'll show you how to do. So once you're happy with all of your crops and your circles, we now need to put these into a border. So I can either go up to picture format, again, make sure your picture's selected, otherwise this tab won't appear. 
And then you can go along to either format pane here or double click on the image and you'll see that this dialog menu comes up at the right hand side. Make sure you click on the bucket icon where you will get fill and line. If you go down to line and click on the drop down and then select solid line, again more options will appear. Now currently I've got my colour set to white and my width of my border set to 0.75. I'm going to keep my colour at white but if you do want to change the colour click on the drop down. Sorry you can't see the rest of the menu here, I haven't recorded the rest of the screen but you get the idea that all the colours will appear and if the colour of your choice doesn't appear go down to more colours here. You'll have another dialogue box will appear and you can just select from all the different options as well. Again, if they aren't suitable, go down to the eyedropper tool and then you can use the eyedropper to select any color that you can see on your screen and then just click OK. So I'm just going to cancel. Then when we go down to width here, you can either use the up or down arrows or you can simply highlight the value and then just pop in the value of your choice. I've selected six. I think I should probably select five actually. Yeah, and then just go ahead and do that with all of the other pictures. And again, the final one. So once you're happy with your images, then we're just going to add a little shadow to give it a little bit more of a 3D effect. So again, I'm going to highlight my shape and then I'm going to go across the menu here and select this icon here. Then I'm going to go down to shadow, click on the drop down and then go across to presets, click on the drop down. And again, apologies, you can't see all of them, but the various options are available and I'm just going to click on the center one and as you can see there's a faint outline here of a shadow. You can of course go ahead and play around with all the different sliders but I'm going to keep it as the default and I'm going to go ahead and select the next one and then just click on the drop down and select the shadow. Once you've done that you can go ahead and resize your images, move them around Place them wherever you want. And once you're happy, then you can go ahead and fill in the rest of your page. You can do that with all the different shapes, whether it's a triangle or a square. And again, the outline will apply in the same way. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.